Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm going to show you my finished object, which is a hat. And here how it looks like. And it has a pom-pom. Maybe first things first I tell you what I used and then I'll tell you how I knitted this hat uh, and put it on my head. Let's stop messing. Bag. I don't know if you watched my previous videos, but I showed you that I sewn a few bags just for presents. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm amazing sewist, so uh, this is it. This is my one side pin bag, and maybe I will leave a link to the video over here for you to see what other bags I made and. Uh, down below check my podcast all the three were created too so here it is beautiful i received this this fabric from my mom and i love it look at this ah, it's amazing and uh, this one i got in sligo in ireland zipper in sligo in ireland and this one i got um a tablecloth and i decided it's too pretty so that's that with a handle and a, ye and a yellow tread. <sighs> okay, uh, needles. Here they are in my, the tower pouch, intelligence. <laughs> and what I have over here, I have two uh, sets of needles. One are drops, which are these. You can recognize drops by their core. They're kind of uh, goldish looking. And this is Zoho. Uh, uh, nine millimeters, which is US size 13. Everything is written on them. I hope you can see this. But I started ribbing with eight millimeters, which guessing 11, seven. That's seven. I started with seven. That was a big jump. So I started with seven. So on the screen over here, what the seven is in the US size. In regards to my pouches with the bulky, I could not put the uh, and the fabric through the clip and clip it. So basically I just kept it to hold it. Now what else I needed? As you can notice, and it's unusual for me for at least a, a year I would say, to have a pom-pom. See it? Well, I know it's unusual, but <laughs> I don't keep stuff like that in the can. This is 100% Polish wool. Um, so we're talking about yarn and I, right? Uh, so I made it from this, but before I, <laughs> before I do this, let's tell you about these ones. These are uh, pom-pom makers and I got them, I think, at Amazon. And this is the biggest size I own. So, and that's that. So what you do, you just basically, you probably know how to do it. Just put it together. Flip the yarn, flip the round around on one side, on another side. You close it, you chop it, you just secure with the yarn, pull it nicely, and then you can unclip it and take it out and trim your pom pom, which I'm not so great. Well, it doesn't look bad, does it? So, I have yarn like this, and you may notice that I've done a few things with it. Um, with a different color, with the cream color. I did, um, on the screen now, over here on the bottom, you can see uh, videos on YouTube channel. I will probably link them down too if you want to see um, what pattern I use. I use, in both on those cases, I use Jen Sheelan's pattern, amazing. And um, I like that kind of rustic, crunchy sensation with it. Uh, would I wear it? Would I make a hat or socks with it? I don't know, I'm tempted to knit socks because it is a finger, I would say sport weight. It, it's spun, it's, you know, homemade, homespun, everything, it's uh, done like that. So, um, I'm tempted. I may not wear it. They, they pill like crazy, um, especially when I made the pom-pom and I noticed that. What I did with the pom-pom, I uh, made it and then I kind of soaked it in the water with the vinegar, I think. But I presume maybe I should put some conditioner. It is not the softest thing. But it looks cool, I think. It looks cool. And especially with those two combinations, because this yarn is an Irish yarn. Well, it's an Irish company, probably, because Merino, I don't know, maybe we have here in Ireland, uh, Merino sheep. 
So we have over here Studio Donegal, so Donegal, if you bought yarn like that in Ireland, you can knit a hat like this, which is 100% super wool, wool spun to ply. Um, so it's a different feeling with it. I knitted already a go slow hat, my pattern, so check it out. Maybe on the screen I'll show you a photo over here. So this is how it looks like. Um, in this case, I used this, you see, this is, the, I hope you can see it. This is, this is how the thread looks like, and I used four, um, oh, shaking, shaking, four th threads uh, to knit this hat. Um, that's why I want to get a kind of bulky sensation. Is it rustic? It's crunchy, but it does not, like, I don't, I can wear it. When I'm holding it, I know it's not the softest. Crunchy, crunchy. It's 190 meters, which is 210 yards on 100 grams. I used all of it. With the, um, uh, wait, when I was waving ends, I basically took one thing and I put them. Um, a tag, maybe I'll save because I posted on Instagram stories, I'll save you a video over here how I do it. So this is what I do, instead of pulling on the sides, just grab the end and you pull the one out and it works with many, many plies. So this is how I do it uh, and I picked stop because sometimes in life you have to stop and think and enjoy and do something creative and that's why I have that stop but also I think it's a really good ta cool tag for boys because they should stop all the time so yeah an amazing thing what I did the first time ever I put a pom-pom on a button so um, I have more buttons like this so I'm wait a second my button here they are and uh, that's what I found I noticed that you have to have shank I googled images and shank, you know, you can see um, a buttons like this or you can see something else. So basically it has to have like a thing sticking out. Uh, good to have a needle that will go through it fully and I have a few, I can make more. Uh, so the idea is that when you wash your hat you will just, uh, or you can wash pump up separately. I'll show you how it looks like. Oh look at this <laughs> that's fun <laughs> so it's a little bit tight isn't it I like tight hats actually so and whatever I wear on my hat or like goggles for swimming I will have marks and this is how it looks like this is my pom-pom I don't know do you see that fluff and on the other side you see that button it is very, it, it's, it's a perfect, it's a spot on button for this. It took me a while to get it through, but um, I think that's the idea, isn't it? That it's not that easy to take it out. Um, and it sits nicely. I love it. Now I have a pom-pom, I have a hat, and I have a button. Only something like this I was able to find. So let's see, will it work or not? So this hat, is my hat. Am I going to make more? Yes, I will. And how did I make it? Okay, I know I'm not the best telling you how I am live without any notes and stuff, but um, let's try, shall we? So basically what I did, I cast on 42 stitches on seven millimeters needles, which I would guess is US size 11. Knit one per one for 10 rows. Uh, if you do 11, nothing is going to happen. And then I did stuck in that stitch in around four, 13, 12 rows. Depends, you know, how big is your head. Sometimes if you cast on less over here, just for the stretching sensation, does it stretch? Oh, not really, doesn't give you that much gift. So then what I did, I divided uh, the stitches by, divided by six and I was decreasing. How was I decreasing? I was decreasing, the, after that decreasing row, I did three normal rows, <laughs> stuck in its rows knit rows and then I was decreasing every row um, until I got I don't know how many stitches I just felt yeah this is it and I just uh, you know pull the yarn through the stitches and pull it I left slightly small bit uh, a gap I haven't even thought to put a button there but I'm so happy that I didn't pull it properly because that way I had that small bit to pull the button through easy peasy and to be honest I should not have been showing you this because I finished socks. So hopefully uh, next video is about socks or next video is about um, our rolling trip.
I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know, have you ever knitted a bulky hat? Have you ever made a pom-pom with a button? Uh, and what do you think about this idea? Is it cool? Show me what you're knitting. Use hashtag knitting I love on Instagram. I want to give you some hearts. I go to that tag from time to time, almost every second day. And uh, yeah, and I can't wait to see your hats. If you're knitting a hat, don't forget to join my Ravelry group Knitting I Love because we have a thread over there, knit a hat cow. We're hitting 600 finished objects once we get that. I'll make a small prize and draw winner. And we shall see for how long I can pull that thing off. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Bye. How's my forehead better?